I saw the original video for the pizza rolls done on a Blackstone griddle, and I thought to myself, those actually look kind of good, and I think my daughter might like them. I had just finished a grilled pizza video, and so I had a lot of the ingredients already. The sauce was made, the cheese was shredded, so I figured I'd give it a shot. I will admit, it was pretty good. Not something I would eat every day, but great late night snack, great snack for your kids if you've got any. The ingredients we're using are super simple, but you're gonna to wanna to have them all ready ahead of time. So we've got about a cup of shredded cheese. I'm using mozzarella, some pepperoni if you want it. You're gonna need a tortilla. I'd say a large flour tortilla, and you're gonna need some sort of pizza sauce. I've got a recipe for the world's easiest pizza sauce. It's a pizza sauce I love. It's from a video I did on grilled pizza. I'm gonna put a link to that right here in this card. If you go to about a minute 45 in, you'll see the recipe for making the easiest pizza sauce ever. All the cooking for these pizza rolls are gonna happen in a large non-stick skillet. I'm using cast iron. If you have another non-stick skillet, that should work. You're gonna to wanna to get it preheated over medium to medium high heat. As you can see, I've started by layering pepperoni into the pan. If you were gonna use sausage, you'd wanna cook that first. Make sure it's completely cooked, and then you could add to it from there. I like a lot of pepperoni. So I'm putting a bunch in there, followed by cheese directly in the skillet. This is kind of a hip thing you see in cooking videos these days. People go directly in the skillet with cheese and it melts right on the griddle or the pan. I'm gonna let that melt just a bit, and then we're gonna go ahead and put our tortilla on top of it. I'm kind of pressing down. The goal here is to get the cheese, the melty cheese and pepperoni, to stick to the tortilla, because we're gonna flip it here in a second. This should only take about 30 seconds to one minute. I'm kind of feeling around. I can feel the cheese bubbling under the tortilla. When I think it's melted enough, it's time to try to flip it. Now, on a Blackstone, they used a big spatula. I think this might even be easier. I'm taking a plate, putting it on top of the skillet upside down. I'm trying to move my camera here so I can give you a better shot of how this all works. And then I literally take it off the hot stove and just flip it over. Look at that. Worked like a charm. We are not done yet though. We wanna put the pizza roll back into the skillet, tortilla side down, and we will add some of our sauce on top of the pepperoni and melted cheese. At this point, you could also add any dried oregano or Parmesan cheese if you'd like. Then we're going to go ahead and fold up our pizza roll. We should have some nice browning on the crust. If we don't have enough, we can just keep it in the skillet after we folded it and let it finish. Kind of like a pizza burrito almost, if you were to eat it like that, but... The guy in the original video sliced it up, I believe. You can flip it, get it brown on all sides. Once it looks good, we're ready to pull it off and eat it. 